We are in week 15 of my Law of Attraction Gratitude Journal. Attract more of what you want to create a happy, abundant life. I'm Dana Smithers and I, what I did to put this book together was I decided to do a 52-week journal and each week I'll give you a tip. Now I've been writing in my journal as well and, and I find sometimes, I don't write every week, it's up to you, right? It's your journal. You can do what you want. But week 15 is kind of an interesting one. It says, consider yourself employable. So the reason I put that one in there is because I know a lot of um, my friends have um, children, teenagers, young adults that are looking for work and, you know, experiencing a little bit of a challenge with it. And when we use the law of attraction, we're able to actually change that vibration from saying someone is um, unemployable to saying I'm employable. And automatically the vibration, the energetic vibration that goes with unemployable, which is negative, is switched over to something employable, which is very positive. So if you know anybody that is looking uh, for work, uh, maybe moving on to a different career, just give them that little tip that put that in your mindset that you're very employable and when you are employable you're definitely going to be more attractive to yourself you're going to be more attractive to people that you're looking at and you know there's nothing wrong with saying that you're in transition right now it's you know you're between one job and another you're very employable you're looking for the best opportunity where you can serve use your skills talents and sacred gifts um, to serve whomever you're going to be working for. So being employable just totally shifts the energy. It's no longer um, you don't feel negative about yourself or un I'm unemployable or I'm unemployed. So it, it carries a whole different uh, energy to it, positive energy to it if you start saying that you are employable. And when you start to do um, in the book when you're, you're going through it, you know, you've got this page, the Ask, Believe, and Receive page, which is right there. So this is the process where, you know, I did another video on the difference between setting your intention and asking. When I suggest doing an ask, uh, again, it's your journal, you can do what you want, but when I do an ask, I give that to a higher power. So if you're putting your ask in there, it might be something you know, the ask might be something like, um, help me to find the best opportunity where I can use my skills, talents, and sacred gifts to serve other people so that I can be a benefit or blessing unto them. It doesn't matter what kind of work that you do, right? But we're, we're all here. We all have skills, talents, and sacred gifts. So we're all here to serve one another. And we're here to grow. So you could put in there in your ask that you'd also like to uh, find a position where you can grow and you can also help others grow and learn at the same time that you are. And then when you, from your ask, you're going to go, you're going to be looking for, in the believing part, you're going to be looking for evidence. So have you ever had a great job in your life? Do you know anybody that's ever had a great job in their life? Do you know anybody that's employable? Do you know anybody that was looking that became employed? So this is where the evidence is there and you start to raise your vibration. And when you get to the receive part, then, you know, you're going to be excited to, even if you have an interview, it doesn't pan out into being offered a position. Remember what I've said all along is we want to celebrate the closeness of the match. So however you do that, I'm kind of a fan of this. I do a little happy dance or I celebrate the closeness of the match. So even if it's not the perfect job when you're going for that first interview and you go to the next one, you're always going to learn something from each interview that you go to. So remember, you might even want to do yourself um, a contrast, a clarity through contrast list where you're looking at, okay, this is everything I don't want. I just learned that from the interview I had. And these on the other side here are the things that I want. So here's what I don't want. I know that now from these interviews, I'm getting more clarity and here's my clarity side. So yeah, just think about doing that and remember that you are employable. You're absolutely employable. If you've worked before, you've got the proof there and the evidence. So keep on work, work on removing the doubt and know that um, good things will come your way and that the right position is there for you. So if that's, if this is about you or somebody you know, then just know that, you know, get clear on exactly 
what it is you want, and every interview is going to lead you closer to that step. So celebrate the closeness of the match. Again, I'm Dana Smithers, the author of the Law of Attraction Gratitude Journal. And every time that we celebrate the closeness of the match, we're actually expressing gratitude. And when we express gratitude, the Law of Attraction's job is to match that vibration. So it does, and it just brings more good things to you. So happy job searching.